Hey guys, Bill Nichols here, Bill Nichols TV. Today I'm here with Wally from Power Vision. We're going to talk about their Power Egg, an announcement that they just made here at Interdrone 2016 with their Power Eye technology. So, Wally, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about Power Vision? Okay, so uh, Power Vision, which is the company we aim in the robot industry. So, uh, we released the two products, which is the Power Egg for consumer drone and Power Eye for prosumer and professional applications. Great. Are these the first products for PowerVision or has your company been around for a while? Yeah, we've started on 2009. So we started by commercial uh, Robert and a commercial visualization kind of business. So this is the first tool we release uh, for the consumer industry. Okay, great. So you've got a big commercial background and now this is starting to hit the consumer market. Sure. I love seeing it because we've really got just a couple of companies in the consumer space and I think it's really important. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the Power Egg. I'm getting the idea from looking at them that they're uh, focused at a little bit different audience. So why don't yeah. you tell us about the Power Egg, um, who it's meant for, and what's special about it? Okay, so we started uh, uh, thinking about we're making a drone that can, like a flying robot and a flying camera. So at the very beginning, we think that uh, not easy to foldable. Then we're thinking about uh, we design a foldable design. But at that moment, I'm thinking not only a foldable, which is enough, we need to design a easy to carry on, but also kind of art, like a art plus technology. At that moment, I'm thinking we, we're thinking one person who is uh, Da Vinci. Da Vinci drawing the X and designing the aircraft. I think he is the best rep representative for the uh, technology plus art. Great. So we design X shaped, that means uh, like a nature shape, easy to put on your backpack, because previously we normally, the X shaped drone, that's not easy to carry on. Right. Then you have to use a separate backpack. Then if at that moment you want to bring like your laptop and a clothes with your carry-on because they have battery inside, you are not allowed to go to luggage. Right. So you have to carry on. Then I'm thinking bring this one and also others support it that will be perfect. Then we design egg shaped. So with this I could really fold this up and I could just put it right in my suitcase. Sure, right, sure, and it's sure. got a bottom cover, so I'm not worried about the camera. Yeah. And then I see two different controllers here. So who is who is this meant to to be flying? Um, and then uh, how do you fly? The, you know the difference between the two controllers. Okay, so normally uh, every people use a standard controller, right. because this kind of controller yeah. at the, the first time you think that's not easy to operate, because you use this way to uh, start and uh, to control left and right, up and down and turn around of the drone. Right. But when you Operating that, that gives you a lot of pressure for a drone to fly on the sky. So I'm thinking, is there a way, a, a way to the most important part, which is uh, making user too easy to use the drone, like uh, nature control. So then we designed this uh, special gesture control master from PowerVision. Then we use one button to take off landing, okay. and uh, this one to 360 gimbal system. Oh, wow. Then you can move in the camera automatically. Then with this pattern, go up and go down. Return home, photo yourself, and when you release the button here, you can just check control like this. Okay. When you release it, that will hovering automatically. Okay. So I think with this with this controller, within 60 se 16 seconds, you, you know how to use it. So that will be very easy to use it. Wow. So I'm thinking there have several pinpoints from the user for drone before. One is not easy to portable. The second, which is not easy to control. The third, which is uh, normally a people like men use it. Right. But not uh, when you're traveling out with your family, uh, maybe a man controlled very happy, but uh, his uh, kids or his wife not happy sometimes. Right, sure. So we design this as a connector for your family. That's great. So even like a 10 year old kid, they can operate that. And then it seems like less time would be taken away from your family trying to control this. You really kind of, you're not having to think about it as much here. It's following you or you're just controlling it really simply. Sure. And also with this one, you can protect it. We, we, we're doing a lot of uh, safety policies. Okay. For example, if you use this one with, with, uh, with your, your kids, they are 14 years old, something like that. We have a fence. Then okay. that means uh, within five meters, that one will not fly in. Oh, great. So that means to protect your kids and your family when you play a drone. Right. And also return home a lot of uh, safety policies. So we think they have three pinpoints we resolved. 
First, which is uh, easy to carry on. Mm -hmm. Second, easy to control. Third, more safety. Great. So I think this is three most important pain points for everybody. Then we design this power egg. So the power egg available now? Yes. We, we started uh, two weeks before to pre-order on our website, powervision.me. Okay. So if everybody like it, you can pre-order our And then line. price? Price will be uh, $1,288. And that includes the controller, that the, the controllers, camera, yeah, the, everything, the everything. batteries, right? Yeah, sure. Great, that looks awesome. Um, one that one that you guys announced here was this, the Power Vision Eye. Yeah. This is particularly interesting to me because I've you know been kind of a prosumer flyer. Sure. Um, so why don't you tell us about the Power Vision Eye and your vision behind it? Okay. So I think right now on the market, most of the we we making big uh, commercial, yeah, we making big commercial drones before. But we found out there have several problems uh, also there. The first, if a professional or prosumer, they want a high-end camera like a DSLR. Right. Then we're making a, a standard Micro Four Third camera on top of it. Then that means you can, you can change lenses. Right. And also with professional uh, video and pictures. And of course, this one can fly in almost uh, 30 minutes. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, because normally only 10 or 15 minutes. Right. This is not even double, almost tri triple for previous product. Yeah, when I saw this, you actually, you have kind of a dual battery set up and it's yeah. 18,000 milliamp hours, right? Sure. We designed two battery because we wanted you to bring on your aircraft. Because uh, when you're traveling outside with the airplane, they have limitations for every battery. Right. So we have two battery design, that means you can bring on the aircraft, very easy to carry on. And almost every part, even propeller yep. and arms, everything, you can you can foldable. Yeah, really smart design with the propellers. You actually, when you transport it, you don't have to take the propellers off sure, at all. They sure. just fold up because and they're still there. That's a pain point. Previously, right. I have other <laughs> X-shaped drone. Every time I don't really want to, to disassemble about that. Right. So, and also we have a very nice design here. There and here. This is the first person wheel camera. Okay. That means, uh, you know, right now for a lot of professional like uh, cinema, cinema photographer and a photographer, so they are very professional on filming and they are very professional on, on, on photos, but they do not have background as a palette. Right. So we have two separate controller and two video stream. One for pilot, they can use even goggle or even the, the pad to control the drone. Only concentrate control the drone by pilot. Another right. one concentrate on the gimbal system and the camera to making the best uh, film or best pictures. No, that's great. I know like with my, uh, you know, the one I fly and inspire, and yeah. if I'm doing a dual controller, which I sometimes do, my pilot sees this camera, and I'd be operating that camera, so they don't really know how close they are. Sure. So I think that's a really unique problem that you've solved. Yeah, even how close they are, we have uh, optical detection. That will, within 10 meters, they, that will tell you five meters, three meter, alert to you. Okay. Of course, you have avoidance uh, policy inside. If you don't need uh, avoidance by them, because I think the most smartest uh, um, avoidance will be human. Right. Then they can tell you how far from there. Right. So that's a very good uh, design. And also this one can support 3.1 miles for not only control, right. but also for video. Oh, that's amazing. And it's uh, from the press conference, it's a 720p downlink for the video. Is that sure. correct? And then, so what kind of a technology are you using for the long distance uh, range and video signals? Sure, we, we didn't use like, like a Wi-Fi te technology on this because Wi-Fi normally only designed for 100 meters. Right. If you give some boosters, only a few hundred meters. Somebody said, oh, we can one kilo, but actually they are not. They are hard. You need a very pure environment. But for this one, we use the OFDM technology inside, but also the 2.4 gigas. Okay. To be frankly, we're using the same data link on our commercial drone and commercial okay. aircraft. The maximum they can fly like 70 kilometers away. Wow, that's amazing. But they, they do not have, they, they can use one watt, two watt in larger. Right. This one, because that's a consumer electronics, we have to follow the FCC standards. So in that standard, we can fly maximum like five kilos away. Okay, great. The, um, and then one of the other things uh, that I noticed is that it, so it looks large, but it's yeah. relatively light. Like it's yeah. not—it's not really heavy. Yeah, that's uh, less than eight point uh, eight pounds. That's with the camera, with the battery, with everything. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, you can um, carry on light uh, and uh, legs retract. Yes. And then one thing that I noticed on the on the camera, whenever I change lenses, I always have to rebalance. But you guys have yeah. 
this dial in the back. Yeah, we have a wheel here. You can see we adjust a different uh, angle, then that will suit for different kind of lenses. So I mean, that's sliding a ballast in there, back a weight back and forth, and that's balancing off the lenses. Now that's really ingenious. Um, so if people want to learn more about the the Power Vision Power Egg or the Power Eye, where, where should they go to? Uh, please go to visit, visit our website, okay. www.powervision.me. Okay, and then last question. I don't know. I don't think you can tell me yet, but any pricing or availability or rough availability yeah. a goal. Uh, we will release the price uh, later this month, okay. and uh, we start a pre-order later this month. Of course, believe me, this is not a very high-end uh, commercial one. We are making the high-end technology to this one, but prosumer and the professional price. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a consumer price. Of course, this one will be expensive right, than that. Right, it'll be more that. than that. But yeah, yeah right. because the camera system. Yep. Oh, by the way, we also support industry applications. We have a thermal camera with another option. So that means when you fly, you can shift between thermal camera and a normal EO camera. You can do live, you can go between a regular camera and a thermal camera. So you don't have to swap out the camera. It's yes. one camera, one thermal system. and regular imaging. Yeah, we have two sensors. One oh, micro four third, one thermal. But they are flying. Sometimes when you fly there, you, you found, a, for, for example, in the forest fire, you found some smoke by right. the micro four third camera. But you don't know where is the, the hot spot. Then you shift to the thermal, you will find it very quickly. Well, you guys have packed a ton of technology into here. I mean, I see, like, looks like the portability, the ease of the propellers, um, the battery life, the camera, the first person view, the weight, the, the time. I mean, on my system, I mean, I'm getting somewhere between 12 and 14 minutes of flight time. So almost a half hour, that's incredible. Um, and then you'll have a full range of accessories from extra batteries and everything available when you launch? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. And then um, last thing, the, the camera, is it 4K, is it 30 yes. frames or 60 frames a second, or what do you guys anticipate? Uh, that's 4K. Uh, yeah, uh, right now I remember that's uh, 30. Okay. Yeah. And then I imagine from 4K you can do 1080p, you can do whatever you want, right? Yes, yes. Awesome. Anything else that we should know about? Yeah, I think uh, uh, Parvision, we are aiming, Parvision Robert, we are aiming a lifestyle robot company. Right. So we are not only offering drones, but we will offer him more lifestyle Robert. Right. So next uh, time we will release more Robert. I like it. I can't wait to see. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, guys. So that was Wally Zhang with Power Vision. Um, I'm actually taking a few minutes on my own at their booth to look at their products. When I first saw the press announcement of the Power Egg, I wasn't really sure what audience it was for. Um, you know, I thought it was you know a little toyish looking, which it actually makes sense because it's more for a family. It's more to get you know kids involved or your husband or your wife or your girlfriend or whatever. And um, and they've got some really great safety features put in. Like you said, if you have the remote, it's not going to fly within five meters of you. But um, you know, the one thing that I'm really excited about, almost you know, at this inner drone, there's been. I'd say uh, three things, you know, a couple of things that have really stood out. One being Epson's uh, BT300 glasses. The other one is this Power Vision Power Eye. I'm really excited about it because one and a half hour flight time. So, you know, I've got an Inspire One X5. I love it. I think it's a great machine. Um, you know, it's very portable, but it, uh, I do get about 12 to 14 minutes of flight time. I get that propulsion limit has been reached quite a bit. When I change lenses, sometimes I have to rebalance things. And uh, I think they've really done a lot of stuff on the design here. So when you look at the props, they can really close these down, you know, and then these just come out with a twist lock, right? So these are coming out like this, and then closing down. Um, same thing with the legs down here, they actually pop. And then the Micro Four Thirds camera, which is what the X5 has, but with this little rebalancing knob back here, where you just turn this little dial, and this is going to shift the weight inside the housing to rebalance it right there. Makes it quick, makes it easy. Um, let's see if we have a battery in here. There's no battery, but the battery bay is huge. It takes this dual battery, 18,000 milliamp hours. So when they say a half hour flight time, I know you hear that a lot, but 18,000 milliamp hours, that's three times, a little more than three times what the Inspire One's battery is or the Phantom's battery is. I think they should be able to get a half hour flight time. It's really well constructed. Um, overall, I think it looks great. I'm really excited to see this one. So you guys stay tuned. I'm going to try and work with these guys to get a review unit so that I can do a series of videos like I did with the Phantom. Um, I do still have a series coming out with another one as well. But I just want to spend a couple minutes here and just kind of show you this. I mean, it looks, this is the one 
company. And when I asked them as well, I asked them how well funded they are and do they have some staying power? Or like, can they lose some money for a while to try and gain traction in the marketplace? They said absolutely because they've got a large commercial division where they're actually making all of their money and then they're funding this through that. So they've got a commitment, at least internally, that they're going to be at the market for a while. They don't have to be profitable right away. I think it's really important. You know, we have DJI, which I love DJI products, you know, but one, any one company, even if I like them a lot, having 70% of the market isn't really good for anybody but them. So getting somebody else out there besides DJI, besides Unique to compete is going to be good for everybody. So tell me what you think below. Looking forward to your comments, your thoughts. Um, if you have any questions about this, let me know because I'll follow up with their, you know, with their internal contacts and get some answers. But uh, you guys keep watching. I'll keep making videos and I'll talk to you soon. Subscribe below if you haven't so that you get notifications of all the news videos. Thank you so much.